Why don't you just tell me a little bit about what brought you into the hospital, about the symptoms you were having? Oh, the symptoms I was having, I was falling down. When did that start? Um, about five, six years ago. Okay, and how often would you fall? Uh, once a day, about five times a year. What, was it getting worse or was it getting better? It was getting best, worse. Okay, and just keep looking here. Uh-huh. Okay. And would you fall forward? Would you fall backwards? Backwards. Every time? Every time. And how bad were the falls? Oh, the falls were horrendous as I got, as I started falling. Um, they got worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty scary. Um, so I'm just going to see how your pen. So look at my pen. All the way to the left. Mm -hmm. All the way to the right, all the way up, all the way down. Go to one more time. All the way up as best you can. That's the best you can do. And without all the way down. Yeah, without moving your head. Okay, thank you. Just walk over there. Okay, turn around. Go back. Go back up to the door. Good. Come back over here. One more time. Good. Okay, stop. I'm just going to do the test, Whoa, which I pretty much did already, where I pull you back, okay? But you're not going to fall. It's going to seem a little mean, but I got you. Okay, good. Okay, let's get you back into your seat. Okay, go ahead, just a normal brisk pace. Okay, turn around. Just one more time. Okay, good. Come on back. Okay, good. Stop there. So don't let me pull you back, okay?
akinesia, bradykinesia, hypokinesia. Shrug your shoulders for me. A man with Parkinson's disease, PD, seen in the morning prior to his first dose of levodopa, his last dose having been 12 hours earlier. He had lost facial expression, with lips parted, slow tongue movements, and very slow movements of his limbs, left worse than right. Okay. How about the left hand? Can you? How about that door knob? Okay, once I get going, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With your right foot, hard as you can. Now, would you do your left, please? He was able to rise from a chair, but walked very slowly. Cierre los ojos fuerte, cierre los ojos, apriételos, 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 ábralos, cierre los, apriételos, apriételos, ábralos, eso, mira hacia arriba, sin mover la cabeza, hacia arriba, nomás en los ojos, arriba, 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 ve el techo, ahora sus zapatos, vea los zapatos, sin mover la cabeza, nomás los ojos, ok, ve al frente, aquí, aquí, Muy de frente, ve a la pared, sus desmayos, muy de frente, ok, okay. levanta la mano de frente, haga esto con sus dedos, habla todo abierto, 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 cierra y abra, cierra y abra, rápido, 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 ok, ahora con su mano, con esta mano haga esto, ahora del otro lado, Exacto. Ahora viente polvitos. Excelente, muy bien. Tampoco así esto, doctor. Lo miramos. Cuando pongamos el otro lado, no puede moverlo. No mover. Para pasar al alimento no tiene problemas. No. A veces se, se pierde. Pero este, mm. Mírese arriba. 
Ready, 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 ready. Abajo, abajo. Yes, ready, 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 ready. Excelente. Quítese el cubrebocas. No pasa nada. Ya se le tiene que pesar. Levante la mano hacia el frente. Y ahí. Cierre los ojos. Ok. Sin abrir los ojos, descansa tus manitas. Enfoca aquí en la mano. Cierra los ojos. Ahora cuente del 100 hacia atrás, por favor. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. Ok, listo. Vamos a verlo caminar. Cierra los ojos, apriétalos fuerte, 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 fuerte. Ok. Tus ojos normales. Abre y cierra las manos. Rápido, 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 rápido. Estira las manos. Reemergent tremor. This patient has marked left arm rest tremor, which transiently resolves when arms are outstretched and in a wing beating position, and reemerges after a short latency. This reemergent tremor, typically seen in patients with Parkinson's disease, resolved after treatment with levodopa. Levantamos las manos al frente. Las dos. Enséñame los dientes. Pues no tengo. Los que sean nomás para ver su sonrisa. Pero siga con las manos arriba. Cierre los ojos fuerte, fuerte. Ábralos. 
Otra vez, ciérralos fuerte, fuerte, fuerte. Ábralos. Haga esto conmigo. Ahora viente polvitos. Otra vez y pollitos. Ok, deje sus manitas así descansando. Cierre sus ojos. during the Middle Ages and later to describe the abnormal gait and stance of patients with Sydenham's chorea. We now use the term chorea, however, to define a class of abnormal involuntary movements. Choreic or choreatic movements consist of individual, brief, purposeless, non-repetitive jerks of individual muscles. These tend to be rhythmic and non-patterned, but they appear in series or groups which result in rather complex movements. The movements are made more complex by the patient's attempts to mask them by purposeful movements. Here we have a patient with fairly severe choreatic movements involving various parts of her entire body. Here we see movements involving the jaw, the tongue, the mouth, the neck. Each is an individual brief, sudden, purposeless jerk. In this individual, the choreatic movements are due to Huntington's chorea. The individual movements, however, look the same no matter what the etiology of the choreatic disease. Levanta los brazos. Muy bien, bájalos. Bueno. Javier, ¿quieres caminar hacia mí y luego hacia la puerta? en el codo ¿te has caído? quieto de espaldas así muy bien pon los brazos en cruz Javier así pero al revés, al revés, de espaldas. Muy bien. Siguen apareciendo en la musculatura abdominal, intercostal y lumbar unos movimientos como, como de contracción involuntaria o posicionistas. ¿Lo veis, no? Otra vez. Otra vez, otra vez. Muy bien. ¿Quieres, ¿Quieres seguir caminando hacia la puerta y hasta aquí?
¿Qué trae, Javier? Ahí, muy bien. Haz con las dos manos así. Con las dos. Muy bien. Abajo ya, en reposo. Huntington disease. This man has Huntington disease with its characteristic chorea movements. The movements are brief with an appearance of flowing from one body part to another. Note particularly the chorea in the forehead and relatively sparse movements in the lower face. The opposite would be typical in tardive dyskinesia, which also has a more rhythmic quality compared to the random nature of the chorea that is seen in Huntington disease. The patient has other features of the disease, such as his disheveled features and irregular gait. Put your arms straight out like this, both hands right out there. Just keep them right out there. Okay, spread your fingers a little bit apart like that, like a fan. That's it, just like that. Okay, and just walk back and forth, back into that corner there. Back and forth. Back to the chair. And back all the way over into that corner. Keep right on going. All right. Hello. Uh, Hi. Thank you for participating in um, the, the medical records and trying to videotape some movement disorders. Okay. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 51 years old. And are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. And when did you first notice um, your neck problems? Oh, actually, I noticed it. I think in um, in September 2003. Uh huh. But then uh, I only went to the doctor in. January uh, 2004. Okay, and I noticed that your head twists on you. Yeah. Any other parts that that have um, abnormal movements? No, just this, my, just my mm -hmm. my neck pain uh -huh. and my head. Okay, it's got this. And what makes it worse? What have you noticed that makes these? When um when I'm tense, it makes it worse. Yeah. Mm hmm. And what about if you're around a lot of people, a lot of... Um, oh, yeah, also yeah. that is also uh, it, when I'm very um, conscious that there's people seeing me, so I get more... Okay. Know. And um, have you found anything that makes it go away? Oh, I don't really know. Well, I like mean, touching your chin or... Yeah, Anything they taught me to to do that, but um, I've not really seen so much uh, effect on it. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I'm not just aware about it, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Can you take your glasses off and put it on the table? Okay. Now, can you remember what I showed you about the hand movements? Can you do those hand, the opening, and closing of your hands again? Oh, like this. Yeah. Just try that. Keep doing that. Okay. 
Okay. Now can you put your hands out forward? Um, straight in front. Turn it o turn it over. Turn it over like that. Um, no, turn it around like this. Oh, like this. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And now open and close your hands again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now can you um, you could relax your hands. Okay. And can you turn your head all the way to the right? All okay. the way to the right. Any problems turning it to the right? Uh, not so much. No? Now turn it all the way to the left. Now that's a little more difficult for you. Yeah, this is difficult more problem. For you. Yeah, this is a tough problem for me. Okay. Can you bend your head forward? Forward, like this? Mm -hmm. All the way down? This okay. is kind of mm -hmm. thing also that is very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yes. Yeah. Can you bend your head all the way back? Be careful if you have a wall back there. Yeah, this is okay. not so bad. Yeah? To the left and going up is not bad, but going down and to the left. Uh, to mm -hmm. the right is good, but to the left is not really okay. comfortable. Let me just stop this here. Generalized torsion dystonia. This woman is the sister of the previous patient. See video 13-10. Both have Oppenheim dystonia, and both were the same age at onset, seven years. But this woman's dystonia began in one leg, while her brother's began in one arm. His did not progress beyond segmental vibrachial dystonia, while hers became generalized. She had multiple stereotactic thalamotomies that affected her speech. One more to the chair. And then, yeah, and then get up again. Cerebellar ataxia and asynergia. Clean your nose and this pencil. Now, slowly touch your nose and the pencil. This man has a family history of cerebellar ataxia. It developed in this patient in adulthood and slowly progressed. There is a decomposition of limb movement, asynergia or limb ataxia, missing the target, dysmetria, titubation on standing, and a wide-based gait. He usually walks with two Canadian crutches to maintain his balance. And you can see on walking how wide-based he is and how easy it is for him to fall.